Hello everyone, Tim here. Uh, today is going to be an unboxing of this Evil Dead statue right behind me. This is a 1 6th scale ash. It is one of a thousand. This is from Dark Horse Direct, and this is Ash from the first movie. That's right, the first one. Because, you know, mostly everything we see seems to be Evil Dead 2, Ash with the Chainsaw. This is different. This is the Ash we don't see as often. I can't wait to dive into this thing. I am pumped. I've had this thing paid off quite a while, so let's see what it looks like. So why don't we take a look around the box a little here. Uh, we have the nice dripping blood, the Evil Dead written. The box is pretty good. That is what the statue will look like. More dripping blood. There's nothing really on the bottom. The only thing I will say before opening this is this thing looks pretty light, guys. Pretty light. Hopefully the quality is decent. So they put a little card in. I am number 45 of 1,000. And they put top and bottom on which i appreciate not all statues do that and look at that the evil dead written gorgeous in the styrofoam all right so it looks like this thing is two pieces definitely bottom heavy so put it like that so it doesn't fall get ash out of here all righty so Closer up of Ash himself. Very bloody. I think the paint details for the blood are actually pretty nice. Looks applied relatively, relatively well. I've seen but better blood application, but this also isn't too expensive of a statue. I think for its price point, it's pretty solid. Let's get closer detail. Come on. There we go. The eyes are okay. The mouth is very much so okay at best. But this kind of gives off a cartoony look to Ash. I don't know how to describe it, but I do still overall like the presence. It's going to look good, I think, on the shelf. I like it more that, so far than the Evil Dead 2 1 6th Ash figure I got. And like I said, I appreciate that this is Ash with both hands with the axe. We don't get that as often. I'm not saying there's not collectibles of Ash like that, but I'd say more focus is on Ash in Evil Dead 2 or Army of Darkness even than the first Evil Dead. All right, let's take a look at the base now. Right there is where Ash will peg in and Look at that. So we got Cheryl in the basement. And the work on the chains looks pretty good. Uh, most of the weight of the thing is the base. Uh, the base is much heavier than Ash. The lock looks pretty good. Uh, all, all together, everything on here. Got keys right there. You got some blood splatter. I'd say the work on this is overall pretty good. This is a good base. Uh... Down the bottom there, we have Ash, limited edition, 45 of 1,000. And like I said, I love that this is the first, first movie. I really do. If you really look in there, you see where she kind of goes into the abyss of, of nothing. But overall, this is a very nice base. So we will peg Ash in, which, come on. There we go, okay. So he takes a little bit of work there, but his foot, it looks like it, yeah, it doesn't quite, kinda rests just above. And I have, so I have this fully pegged in. That can't go in anymore. I mean, it's tough with this stuff to get stuff to line up perfectly and Maybe over time it will rest, but it doesn't quite. The foot should be like that. And it's more like that. <laughs> so, so it's essentially like Ash is putting all his weight on the one foot. Uh, hopefully, it kind of, I don't know. I don't want it to sag down. It's just that's kind of a pretty big gap there. 
that that's kind of disappointing but it should still look good on a base let me get another camera view all right so you got this moved down now uh yeah i mean it's still i don't really know what i can do about that i don't think there is anything uh other than just try not to think about it it looks good like if you're looking at it from the top it's uh it's resting but if you look at it there it's clearly not even touching so eh. overall though i think the base is pretty much it's a killer i like the base i think the ash is pretty good bruce campbell is kind of a tough actor i feel to nail uh this is kind of like a little bit more cartoony of a look but i do like it like I said, I dig that this is Evil Dead 1. I don't feel we get near enough Evil Dead 1. Uh, this is still much better than that Evil Dead 2 uh, 1 6 figure from Asmus Toys. Uh, the price on this wasn't too bad. So, ooh, sorry about that. Let's spin him some. Uh, from that angle, it doesn't look as bad with that separation. Not going to be displaying them from the back, but uh, looks good. And then the other side. I think the detail work on her, though, is really good. She looks really excellent. So put it back in focus. It's also wanting to focus on the, uh, the Army of Darkness print in the background. But yeah, I think this is really good. I'm happy with it. That's the most disappointing part right there that that's really that foot not touching the the cellar door is my biggest gripe overall did anyone else get this uh if you did does yours touch the cellar door because like i said i'm i have this keyed in all the way it's not going down anymore so and also look at that blood splatter on his foot that's nice but uh yeah, I, I dig it. I'm very happy with it. It's much better than that uh, that figure I got. So that's all I got for this unboxing. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.